My name is Given Paladi. I'm the founding CEO of Regive Capital. We are a multi-manager uh, or an asset manager within the alternative space. So there is what we call the mainstream or the traditional way of investing, which is buy and hold. We are more on the alternative side, which is the hedge fund, private equity, and then the structured product. Um, ah, thank you. So it is not a typo, um, <laughs> but it is something that I wanted to, to, to so somehow introduce you to, which is the, the integration of, of the physics and the finance, you know, and that's why the way finance came about. I don't know why this thing is moving forward. Um, for, for the lack of my scenes and the work that I do, I always have to disclaim because I'll be showing numbers and the, my <laughs> compliance officer said, please, you must always put up that uh, just to make sure that you are covered. So everything that I'm telling you here, it's not a sell. I'm not selling anything. You should not buy anything. <laughs> but it's just to tell you more about what we do. This is my journey. It started um, in the dusty, dusty uh, roads of um, Limpopo. I come from a village called uh, Mosaleti in Skukune. Um, and I went to a school called Fitahomo. And one of the interesting thing about the school is we never actually wrote any uh, June exam up until the the, the, the year in which I was doing metric, you know, because uh, we always have to find a reason not to, you know. Um, <laughs> but the other interesting thing around that is we didn't have all these equipments and apparatus to do uh, experiment, and we had to imagine the smell. And I remember when we were doing the, the, the experiment of the hydrogen sulfide, you know, the rotten smell. We had to imagine it, you know, <laughs> because we had no equipment to be able to do it, you know. Um, but one thing that I want to bring to your attention is then our school took an excursion to um, a Pretoria Museum of Science and Technology. I think it's called its own today, right? And when I got there, I was intrigued by uh, a model or an exhibit of, um, uh, of a nuclear reactor, right? And from that uh, day, uh, I decided I want to be part of that, right? And how do I go about it? Then I remember telling my old man that, listen, um, I want to get into this career, but I just don't know where to go. So for whatever reason, he came with a book called Career Wise. At the time, I don't know, I'm giving away my age, but yeah. <laughs> We had uh, the career wise. Then I look at the career wise. There were two things that were very interesting that I came across there. There was the, this majestic view of the UCT. Then the second thing was the South African Institute of Physics. Then I wrote a letter and I feel sorry for, for the person who read that letter at a time because my handwriting was so terrible. But nonetheless, I got a response from the chairperson of the time. And he said, for you to be able to study nuclear physics, you must do well in physics, you must do well in maths and there is no degree in, 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 in nuclear physics, by the way. You must start with physics and then you can progress going forward. That's how my journey started and I did exactly that. Then fast forward, um, that love letter and everything, I got accepted at UCT and I stayed at Marquardt. And I'm sure some of you who have stayed here, you can attest to the experience of Marquardt. So there are two people as well that I also like to to send as uh, my special gratitude, uh, Professor Sally Ali is here in laying a very good foundation to be able to, to succeed uh, and, or at, at RW James building. It is one of the most intimidating building for a first year. Uh, somebody who comes from, 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 from the background that I was coming from, cocktail of, of um, accents. I mean, even my own English was taught in babies, you know, so you can imagine the accent that I have to adopt and whatnot. But he laid a very good foundation. And one of the things that um, it still remains with, with me today is how when he talked about the hypothetical person, and he used to call that person Mr. Bucks, you know, and um, anyone who has been taught by him, we even end up giving a, 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 a nickname, sorry, sir, but today you know, you know about it. It's, we used to call him Mr. Bucks, you know, because of that. And that has developed the way I have always gone about my life in always trying to talk about the hypothetical person, you know. The other um, 
incredible human being is the, uh, a professor uh, uh, Bafla in the Bafla as well who continued from from where you have started and I know Michelle you have already touched on this but this is an incredible human being that I somehow got to know and introduced me to this world of astro uh, astronomy uh, you know at the time I think it was myself and Rose at a time who enrolled into this um, uh, course I can't remember it was second year or third year, but it was around there. And um, some of the uh, memories is traveling to the planetarium and with his uh, gusheshe, you know. <laughs> some of you, I don't know, <laughs> you know, it's a BMW that he used to drive the gray one, you know. Uh, it's notorious for being, you know, we spin it in the township. So <laughs> that is why we call it a uh, gusheshe. So my life as a NASPI, so this was the picture of me when, um, yeah, you know, in those days, a younger self, um, a very handsome man, you know, uh, if I so say myself. Um, so, and on the, the middle part there, it represents, I think this is when we were doing the masters and they wanted to write an article. I think um, it was the UCT News, what do you call the, the campus, campus News, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then I did my project at um, Santa, my, my uh, honors project with uh, Dr. Silius, um, Professor Silius now. And um, within, I think I was measuring the, you know, a long time ago and I've been, been practicing, but it was measuring the magnetic storms, you know, as well an incredible human being um, who we also encouraged to, to present the very same result at the South African Institute of Physics uh, conference. I remember it was in the free state when I presented the, the result in a poster format. And then I also worked um, on my master's with uh, Professor Mike Ings uh, with the engineering uh, um, department. Um, we did a lot of work on the remote sensing and here I was using the GPS signal. It emits two signal L1 and L2 and um, so I used the, the the L1, you know, to, for, for, for remote sensing. I think the, the, the work is it's out there if you had to Google it. But the most important thing, it's the friendship, you know, that I have built and I've maintained over the years. I remember when I was doing the project in Zambia um, and I, I said, I know somebody here. And I called uh, my dear friend Patrick there and uh, I said, Patrick, I need, I'm doing some work, but please, can you please check these people that I'm doing the work with? And it's like, no, don't worry, I'll do some background checks. And then he definitely did. And then I continued with that project, but it's the friendship. And I've done the same thing with so many other people, even today as we speak in the, in the business, uh, which I'll talk about one of, of our directors is that ex NASPI, Kyoba uh, Gile there, he's sitting there at the back. Um, but I'll talk about as well what he assists us with. I know Edward, um, uh, spoke about the intensity of, of the work. So when, I, when we finished the master's coursework, it felt very intense, you know, everything has to be compressed in a very short space of time. And after that coursework, I felt a bit of a void and all my friends were gone. I remember Patrick went to, to Rhodes and everyone else scattered and I was remaining here because I wanted to do the project with with uh, Mike Ings, but I started running permutations and trying to reflect in terms of where do I want to go. I didn't imagine myself continuing and becoming either an astronomer or, an, or a scientist. And it, it was a very difficult uh, thing to do um, and the space to be, uh, but nonetheless, I was at that space. And I started entertaining other buildings that I've, I've always passed and never actually thought of, you know? <laughs> and one of that building was the Leslie building, the Commerce building, right? And when you get there, they used to have notice boards uh, of these um, asset managers, banks and whatnot coming to recruit um, uh, students for their graduate uh, development program. And in one of the meetings, uh, as I always go there, is then there was a gentleman on the, 
um, on my left, uh, Jeremy Gardner, who um, was coming from Investec at a time now it's called 91. Um, and he was speaking about the future of uh, Chinese uh, going to dominate the market and, and whatnot, and I got fascinated. And I had a chat with him after the meeting, and I said, Sir, um, I really want to get into the industry. Uh, I'm a scientist <laughs> uh, by background, uh, and this is where I think I want to go. And he said, listen, if you feel strong uh, about it, go for it. And um, then he gave me an example of some other, there was a gentleman who happened to to be a good um, uh, maid of mine later on, uh, um, Lamini, who did um, aeronautical engineering, he was also in that space, he was an analyst. But then there was another, during the same period, while I was still thinking, um, they used to have these UCT open lectures um, at Middle Campus, happened there by a law department. And then this man called Emmanuel Demen, you know? It may have been maybe some of your, your peer at the time, he, was, uh, he came to talk about uh, this book called My Life as a Quant. And it happened to be, uh, he happened to be an, 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 a, a physics graduate from the UCT, right? Who was dominating the Wall Street at a time. You know, he was a talk of the town, he, he was doing incredible work. Same thing, I had a chart and he said, go for it, you know? And for, 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 for my scenes, I, I went for it, but before I even started, um, I, I started this company, maybe perhaps some of you may, may not know, but I started the company in 2004 called Galactic Internet Connection, and you can see that it was inspired by astronomy. <laughs> and this was an internet cafe in the, in the village, and I think I was solving a particular problem that every time when I go there and we had to uh, respond to either emails and whatnot, it's the village, we never, you know, then it takes time to, to get to that, and I set up that internet cafe. Um, very expensive exercise because we didn't have the line, so we have to literally use the satellite. You know, the telecom used to have those satellites, very expensive. So I set it up, this up with, with my old man. Then I got in the industry. Now I'm in the industry. I started my career at Sanlam uh, Investment with a very same uh, small team of actuaries um, called the Sim Lab. So we're servicing uh, the quant with like a quant for Sanlam. Then, um, and also part of the, uh, their development program, right, uh, within, within the financial services. But uh, uh, things somehow changed for better when I moved to another company called Rescura, and where I worked with these two gentlemen, uh, incredible uh, people that I've worked with, and there the, the playing field was leveled. You know, these were all uh, uh, scientists, we spoke the same language, you know, I didn't have to watch my back on the, the terms that I use and things like that. So um, fast forward, we're building a lot of um, investment strategies and asset liability modeling, liability driven investment for some of the largest pension funds in, in, in the continent, you know. So I've worked with those guys, but I also want to talk about some of the things that I also had to come across, you know, as I journeyed into, into the industry. One of that is the names that I came across that were all inspired by, by science. You know, you've got a company called um, Space Capital, so they invest, it's a venture capital, they invest in early days of, of, of these companies. So you can see there's a SpaceX, Southern Cross, uh, constellation and then the polar star, you know. Uh, but this is also another key important thing, uh, the message as I go towards the conclusion. This is something that um, Johan Rupert, Dr. Johan Rupert has mentioned and I've highlighted there that um, the reason why Chinese will continue to dominate and do well, you know, is because um, the people there, they study science, right? And that is key. Because if we are going to change the course of this continent, science will have to be a dominator, you know. And I think that the reason why China is doing what it's doing um, is because of this. So these there were some lessons as well that things that I've picked up 
from, from signs that have applied uh, over time, the, the way that we analyze data, how we go about data. My life is a quant. So this is some of the examples that I've done. This is the Excel. So that thing that we hated about the, uh, 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 the stats, the, I remember we used to do the model there by, by stats department. It helped me later on in life. The, the programming, uh, I know we used Fortran at undergraduate, we used IDS, we used MATLAB. This is the something that was produced in MATLAB, things that I do on day-to-day -day basis to ease my life, you know. But then there are certain things that I've also conquered as a scientist, um, and, but dominating the finance world. That is why most of the time people always assume that maybe I've had a become and whatnot and everything here is self-taught but I've, I've done a lot of stuff and I've always been passionate about the ESG, the impact investment uh, that um, Melanie spoke about yesterday. I've always tried to change things as they are. I don't like ordinary things, so I changed that. But what have I learned at NASP, which is very important, um, is which I think the, 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 the finance world as well can learn for. It's, it can learn from its collaboration, you know, the importance of collaboration. Um, the no to, uh, you know, a nine to five. We don't do nine to five. I've, geez, I've never done uh, weekends I'm working, you know, Sundays I'm working. If I have to take my kids with or come sit with me and I'll be working, you know. And that has uh, somehow helped. The unknown to, to the, you know, embracing the unknowns. We are always excited on the new things, the initiative, self-discipline, um, um, work within principles, you know, you, you build, but there are principles that have to govern you, you know, ethics, you know, you can't copy somebody's work, you can't, you know, you have to produce your own. And I'm not going to bore you, I've already touched on the business, on what we, we, we have done, but there were three critical things as I was building the business that I had to think hard about, and that was around the purpose. What is it that we're trying to do? And even when we partner with us, we always want to partner with purpose-driven businesses. And the second thing is about people. We are in the business of people by people. So the culture in which you set of empowerment, and I think what NASP has done has empowered us to go and face the world there. That's what I do on a daily basis to empower the staff to make sure that they can make independent decisions in society. And the last part is you need to be able to partner with people that are willing to account. <laughs> You know, so that is very important, as I've already mentioned, in, uh, uh, as I think I've got two slides to conclude. Uh, the, the director uh, is also ex naspi he's there, Kiyobakile, I'm sure some of you, you, you know him. He was the first intake together with the jury on the honors class, um, who also happened to leave and then uh, has worked for the likes of Accenture Management Consulting and currently is doing incredible work on the renewable uh, energy space. Um, and these are just some jargon that you just need to go and learn and learn and unlearn and unlearn. <laughs> but outside of that, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, happy to take questions if there's time, otherwise I can.